Yeah, there's been four generations of us. She's born and bred into it, eh? When I grew up, I looked up to my father heaps. I still sort of look up to him now. You know, ring him and get advice and that off him. 99% of the time, it means right. If he gives me advice on this sort of thing, I sort of take it and generally it works out. Francis, I think he wants to have a crack at it. Got a bit of butterfly, a bit nervous. Yeah, well, when Francis was two or three year old, where we were bull catching and that, he'd jump in the bull catches with me. He sort of had to, you know, pull him, up, pull him aside so he wouldn't fall out. Yeah, I think it mean a lot to me taking over the contract. Ashton dropped me dad. Oh, hey. Mean a lot to him too, I suppose. He was always playing with you know, cattle and horses, like he'd have toy horses, toy bulls and all of that sort of thing. So I had a fair idea that you know, he was, he sort of made his mind what path he was going down. Well, I grew up probably back in the old sort of school because it was more horse, horse work. It was probably more stricter than what it is today. Yeah, everybody got their own different ways. Horseback mustering is an old skill and there's not too many people that knows about that now. I prefer people working them on horses. Come on, big brooders. Come on. Back then, those fellas used to track a lot of cattle, letting cattle out at 5.30, 6 o'clock, travelling to the next place. It was good fun and that, but it was a bit harder, probably. Different lifestyle to, to what we're doing now with Francis and I. Um, yeah, just different, different times. Just because you're a leader, it doesn't mean you sit there and work the guts out of blokes. You, you've got to be able to get in there and, and do it as well, you know. Working as a team. You, know, you take a lot of risk on to chase cattle and that side. Navigate, buddy. It's all good when it pays off. <laughs> 